Mile High 6 here, back again with a new video talking about the Broncos free agents this fucking 2020 offseason. I know it's March the fucking free agency, but I'll be talking about the cuts, the keeps, and the in-betweens. Let's get started. Let's get started with the coaching staff because this is going to be one of the easiest parts. Okay, Vic Fangio, obviously keep. We had a 7-9 record, no double-digit losses, unlike with that fucker Vance Joseph. Let's go scrolling down. Offense, don't really care about the other guys. Keep him because you're part of the staff. Rick Scangarello, give him another shot. People give fucking him shit all the time, um, including myself. Um, sometimes he's fucking idiotic. Sometimes he makes fucking Cortland Sun throw for 30 plus yards in one throw. Um, you know what? He dealt with fucking three quarterbacks this season. Give him some slack. Joe Fucko, average Brandon Allen, and horse cock lock. You know what? Give him some time. Even people want him. People want him fired for pretty much no reason. Uh, Mike Munchak, you know what? He's doing a pretty good job. Sometimes the O-line is shit, but you know what? It's much improved, especially with mobile quarterbacks like Brandon Allen and um, Drew Locke. And, yeah, I like Mike Munchak. Donatel, he's just a fucking puppet on the defense. Um, he's Fangio's puppet, but it's, he's a good puppet. Uh, special teams, Tom McMahon. Fucker, we gave up two punt return touchdowns, and, um, yeah, that sucked, and the rest, don't really care. Here's the exclusive rights free agents that the Broncos have. Devontae Harris, um, you know, he's been a kind of average corner, but I, I kind of like him, so you gotta keep him for depth, especially if we, um, you know, get rid of Chris Harris, but that's later. Trey Marshall, man, just for that forced fumble, fucking resign him, man. Um, he's a good safety, um... Because of that forced fumble, and you know what? Good job. You can stay on the team. Devontae Spencer, obviously, I think this is an obvious move to keep him. Probably sign him to, like, yeah, obviously the minimum. But he's a good kick returner. We found a good kick returner. Obviously, he didn't get a touchdown, but you know what? Good kick returns, and yeah. Jack Rogers, um, okay tackle. I would keep him for depth, too, if we're going to get rid of some tackles. And... Dayton Sizer, I don't give a shit. I know he's tw he's 24 years old, probably going to be on the practice squad. I don't care. Club options. Okay, Ron O'Leary, guard, and get the fuck out of here, Ron O'Leary. Get out of Denver. It's not nothing personal. You always get hurt. You're too old as shit. You're not as good as you were in Dallas. Um, the Broncos signed him for a reason. He did okay, but you know what? Get, the, get out of here. No disrespect, but get out of here. We don't need you. $9 million for an old washed-up... Guard, get the fuck out of here. We don't need you, man. And we're not picking up your club option, hopefully. You got your restricted free agents, so either tender them or get the fuck out of here. Devontae Bosby, I know he got hurt um, earlier in the season, but you know what? This guy was actually playing pretty well. He can be good depth. You know, he played in the AAF, so he was pretty damn good. You know, keep him, man. Elijah Wilkerson, uh, he's been sketchy. Sometimes he gets penalties. Sometimes he just allows the fucking defensive back to go. Right past him and get to the damn quarterback. But you know what? And eh, this one's a kind of a middle road. You know, I wouldn't be happy. I mean, I would be happy if they sign him or not. John Jones, I don't know, like, what the fuck has he done? No, keep, don't keep him. Uh, DeMonte Thomas, uh, no, don't keep him. I like Trey Marshall. Put Trey Marshall in his position. Trey Marshall should start every fucking game. Just kidding. Um, Mike Purcell, keep him, man. He's been... A great improved player. Um, he's good against the run. He's a big guy, and uh, he's a Colorado kid. I know he's only tw he's twenty nine years old, but he had his fourth full season. Yeah, keep him. Brandon Allen. This one's a tough decision, man. Um, obviously he had that one fluke game against the Browns, but still he got us a win this year. Um, give him props. And uh, I don't know what to do with him. If it was up to me, I would just cut Flacco and sign him. But you know what? I'm in the middle right here. Kyle Peckle, get out of here. I don't really care. Uh, Tim Patrick, re-sign him because, you know what, he's a decent receiver, and we need receivers coming forward this season to help Drew Locke turn into a great quarterback. He's a good quarterback. Now he has to get to the great level. Tim Patrick showed some flashes in that, like, game. You know, Tim Patrick can get open. He's a decent receiver. I would keep him, obviously. And Nicholas, uh, get rid of him. I don't care. Okay, let's get to the nitty fucking gritty, the biggest, juiciest part this fucking off season for the Broncos, the UFAs that the Broncos have. I think they're gonna invest the majority of their damn salary cap into this fucking UFA class. 
And uh, let's get started. Chris Harris Jr., we offered you a $36 million three years, and you didn't take it. That would take you to fucking 34 years old, okay? And you didn't take it. I'm sorry, man. This guy got to go, man. If We're going to overpay him, and he's going to get burnt by receivers all the time for touchdowns. If we keep him for, like, a cheaper deal, I would like that. If we franchise tag him and keep him for one more year, I would like that. But... You know what? I wouldn't give him a long-term deal that he wants, like forty million or something. We offered him twelve million a year, and he should be happy for that. Uh, Derek Wolf coming off an injury, he'll be thirty when the season starts. You know what? I would offer him offer him a deal. Obviously, it's gonna be cheaper than Chris Harris Jr. because he Chris Harris Jr. is a fucking greedy bitch. Um, I hate to say it, but he is. Uh, I would offer Derek Wolf a three-year deal. He's only 29 right now, but he'll be 30 by the season starts. He had one of the best seasons of his career with a career high in sacks. I would offer him a contract, obviously. Shelby Harris, um, I can't, I don't even have to say anything. The king of bat balls had his best season yet. Six sacks, just keeps batting balls to the ground, led the league in, um, pass deflections. I would offer him a contract, obviously. He's a good defensive tackle. He can get the quarterback once in a while, and obviously he, that ball ain't going to go anywhere once his hand goes up. Theo Reddick can even play the entire year, so get out of here. Um, Casey Kessler, we need a long snapper. Keep him. Adam Godzik, go back to Australia, you bum. Get out of here. Um, Caesar Jones or whatever, he didn't even play. Jeremiah Adichu, that guy needs to get re-signed. Man, that guy's a beast, Jeremiah Adichu. Um, he can get to the damn quarterback. 3.5 sacks. I think that's the most of his career. Thank you, Chargers, for giving him to us. Thank you, Chiefs, for not liking him. Uh, I think he's going to be a good player for the Broncos. Um, he's not going to be an all-star. He's not going to be a pro bowler, in my opinion. But, you know, he's going to be a good player in the future. Resign this fucker. Corey Nelson, I don't care if you want a Super Bowl with us. Get rid of him. Justin Simmons. Okay, see this guy right here. See this man. Broncos. Long-term deal, okay? This guy is the best safety in the game. One of the best safeties in the game, okay? And you gotta give him a big fucking contract, all right? All right? Four interceptions, one of the best fucking safeties in the game. Second to Kareem Jackson, I'm just kidding. But still, we have two of the top safeties in the damn league on this team, and we have to keep Justin Simmons. All right, let's go down. Devontae Booker, get the fuck out of here, man. We don't need you. You're trash. Um, yeah, when he was drafted, he had a decent rookie year under um, under Kubiak. But once we got Vance Joseph, he just went downhill into a shitty running back. And, like, you know, obviously, uh, Fangio couldn't fix him because, you know, he's a defensive-minded coach. But, you know what? Get the fuck out of here, Booker. Uh, Connor McGovern, I think he's a decent center. We need a center, and I think I see him as our center in 2020. Resign him. And Will Parks, resign him, man. I like Will Parks, man. He's a fucking swagger. He got a pick in that Texans game. He got a sack. He's decent in coverage. You know, obviously, there's always room for improvement. And those are my, um, thoughts on the 2020 offseason for the Broncos. Um, I'll, as always, hit the damn sub button and, um, before I uh, end this damn video, I would like to give a shout out to one guy. I would like to give a big shout out to uh, Hurdles. Um, this like YouTube channel. He only has 14 subs, but he's a Broncos fan. Uh, he made this like Drew Lock um, highlight video, which was pretty good. He got like over 1K views. So you know, check this guy out. He only has 14 subs, but he made a few videos. I like all of them, man. Bronco fans make me fucking smile to see. Fans happy on this team, and you know what? Go ahead, fucking hit the sub button for this guy. I'll put a link in the description. This is my shout out to him. And other than that, my high six signing out. Go Broncos.